Hello everyone, I'm High Treason. Ooh, look at this, we've got uh, HD quality again. Probably, I don't know, I might render this one in standard definition, I don't think it needs to be HD. Uh, you know, most of what we're looking at isn't going to be in HD, so it's a bit pointless, I don't need my face in HD, that's boring. So yeah, uh, you might have seen that Commander Keen video that went up and you're probably like, what the fuck's going on? Oh, you might have figured it out. Uh, wouldn't be surprised if you figured it out, because I do think my viewer base generally does actually have a brain, which is a good thing. You know, uh, it's one one thing I actually like not being a huge channel with millions of subscribers. I've never once seen a, a retarded fight break out in my comments section or anything. It's quite good. So there are advantages to being a little niche channel like this. But yeah, that, that, that aside, uh, you know, yeah, yeah, I like my audience and whatever. Uh, that aside, I figured it'd be quite interesting to uh, get that 486 SX that I used to use like years ago. And, you know, I used to do video editing with that, so I thought it'd be quite fun just to do that again. Because now it's fun, I don't have to do it, I've got a more powerful machine. So it's like, well, I wonder if we can still do it. So, why the hell not? Let's make some video on that blooming thing. It ought to blow the spiders out, hadn't it? On second thoughts, uh, maybe not blow the spiders out. Maybe the spiders can go back in now, it <laughs> might be a bit better. Yeah, you know, I forgot it was impossible to uh, share folders from a Windows 7 machine, something that old. Luckily the remaining time's about the same length as an episode of Crystal Mate. Okay, well, let's get this machine started up and then we can have a look at exactly how we're going to be doing this. I have 1.69 terabytes left on this volume, so that should be pretty good. Uh, you know, I'm not recording in HD, it's a bit pointless, really. You know, considering whether, uh, what is this, 800 by 600? I think. And yeah, it remembers what folder you got open, so I don't have to open that again. Take a second, it's not the fastest thing in the world. But this is something to bear in mind. I used to have to edit on this every day, and I used to edit at lower resolutions than I'm going to today. The machine can't actually play back the videos we're using, and it's not as simple as it sounds. There's actually a whole lot of risks that are involved in this. I mean, first off, the machine was a lot slower back then. This it is faster now, but some of what's been done to achieve that involves pushing timings to their upper limits of what the machine will do, and that means that stability isn't as well guaranteed as maybe it would have been. Uh, may as well throw that to the bottom there. Uh, you know, and these are just things like that. There's a very real risk. We, we only have... Uh, oh, that key doesn't work yet. There's only, you know, like, what, 16 megabytes of RAM in here? Yeah. Uh, you know, we don't have a floating point unit. We've only got a 40 megahertz processor, it's, uh, you know, the hard drive's only, this volume I'm working inside here is pretty much full. Uh, there's only 500 megabytes left. Uh, the first disc there is, I've only got 1.43. So, yeah, you can see how, you know, this, w it, it, it could be a real problem here if we're not careful with it. Yeah, uh, you know, we could run out with RAM, we could crash the machine quite easily, just the slightest little thing wrong, it could easily crash this. Uh, I would be interested to see what will happen if we try and import an entire directory. Can we close that? That makes no difference, the wrong drive anyway. Uh, do, 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 try and do that, see what it does. Because, um, it should... Yeah, it's, it's years since I've used the uh, the interface in this. Okay, that's uh, that's pretty interesting. And there we go, though. It, it does have all of these in, so it's actually uh, there we go. That's what we want. You can see it is slow. It really does drag its fucking ass. Now what we need to do is drop it on the timeline and. 
you can tell already what is happening here. There's not a very good uh, resource manager on this. I'm going to close that window because I don't need it. Uh, so I can't really go and see how much RAM I'm using, but I would imagine more than you would like. I mean, that video file, obviously that's the irony in having NAF all in the way of power, the ability to handle compressed video is a lot lower. So, well, we could compress that video down to probably one megabyte. It's actually about 87 meg. Uh, it's still at such a low quality. It is 640 by 480 at 25 frames per second, though. This thing won't quite be able to play it back. Hello everyone, High Treason here, and you're probably sat there thinking, oh come on High Treason, video quality sucks ass, you know, what What the hell's wrong with you, you know, and, you know, this is, uh, this, don't dismiss it just yet, this video does have a reason for existing, and there is a reason that it looks like that, but I'm not going to explain it right now, that's going to be the next upload, and uh, if you aren't a subscriber to my channel, and that, you'll be able to find that down in the description. So there you go, you've already uh, seen that stuff, um, I would have thought. So, yeah, as you can see, everything's kind of happening in slow motion. And what I used to do uh, to avoid these space problems and that, I did used to use low resolutions a lot. Uh, never never did 480p on this machine, so this is really the first time I've tried to do anything like this with it. Uh, so it might not even work. I'll probably still upload this even if it doesn't, and I'm not going to go through the whole thing because it's going to get quite repetitive. I mean, as you can see now, I'm going to be dropping this on here. I can't remember. Can we just do that? Yes, we can. Okay, that's much easier. Uh, I'm not sure I want to try using transitions. Uh, they they tend to make the program a little bit unstable, so I'm not really sure I want to do it, and we are going to be saving this very often. So this is, obviously, you know it's about Keen. And there we go. My logo looks awesome, all compressed up like it is. Uh, yes, yeah, service control S, it's a standard control. And now, come on! <laughs> uh, what was the name of the uh, the WAV file? There's a WAV file. I, I have them all on the hard drive here, so it's not that difficult to uh, HIJK keen.wav. Here we go. Oops. So now we can put a WAV file, and it should, well, that's not what we want. Hold on, that's, uh, that's the audio level. I forgot about that. Yeah, we can uh, move that along. We can zoom in and out here, but I... It, it takes ages, it, it, it is honestly just faster at this stage to uh, to do this. I, I don't know, I guess. Yeah, okay, we'll zoom out. Here we go. Brace yourself. Okay. Have we, I've gone the wrong way, haven't I? There we go. Woohoo! And that's a little bit jittery, isn't it? Ooh, yeah, I think that's uh, that's too far in. There we go. That should be good enough. But you can see it's it is quite an interesting challenge. Uh, oh no! Here we go. You see this? Is what I mean? Stability. It's a fucking piss take. And the program will do that every once in a while. Well, I will get there. I'll, I'll persist. But. Yeah, uh, I mean we are really in a in a pretty rough spot because we're running in an unreleased operating system, and we're asking the machine to do shit it really shouldn't be doing. But I'll come back when I've made some progress, and uh, yeah, uh, I did save it one step before that, so that's what I mean. Every time I do something, I'm going to save it after it's done, because uh, it is going to have reliability problems. But as you can see, it doesn't crash the operating system. The machine doesn't become unresponsive. It will restart. It is right now, but the uh, the scaler can't, you know, scale the uh, post screen. It doesn't know what to make of that mode. There you go. So it's fine. So, a restart, it doesn't take long for this machine to fire up. It's actually pretty snappy for what it is. And yeah, I'll come back when I've uh, made a bit of progress and see how things are going. 
but I imagine you are figuring out why I don't want to play with the zoom feature. It does does provoke it a little bit. It's generally that timeline, moving things around and just fucking about with it more than I have to. It seems to really be a, a trigger for uh, instability. Real-time mixing here. This is Commander Keen running on a real MS-DOS machine, a 486SX. By today's standards, it appears very simple, even primitive. There is a maximum of only 16 colours on the display. There are only two buttons other than the required movement keys. And the sound effects use a simple turn generator inside Okay, the that's computer. a problem, isn't it? If you can call it that, it's actually just a... Because the audio from the game there is too loud, is it not? That's a little bit intrusive, so we need to lower that. Uh, now it looks to me like that, those curves should work. I know where I want to go. Is there a, a go-to command in this? Yes, there is. There we go. That's uh, Control G, by the way. Uh, where were we? I think we we're at about 1 minute 30, something like. Seems about right. Eep. There we go. That was pretty much spot on. Look at that. Damn, I'm good. Okay, so what we need to do is just uh, add a, a pointer there. It's a bit difficult, it doesn't give me a decibel readout, but it should be a little bit better. Hold on, takes a while. This is there we Commander go. Keen running on a real MS-DOS machine, a 486SX. Yeah, the one we're editing on. <laughs> standards, it appears very simple, even primitive. There is a maximum of only 16 colours on the display. There are only two buttons other than the required movement keys, and the sound effect is a simple turn generator inside the computer. If you can call it that, it's actually just a programmable timer driving a small speaker. That I don't know, I, I may turn it down a bit more, but let me save uh, before it crashes itself. So, one, three, one. <coughs> Pardon me. I'm, I'm sorry, my guts are uh, really playing up to the should do it. It also seems to be uh, that it's at the other end there. Uh, we can get there quite quickly like that. It's actually a feature that either isn't in Sony Vegas or I've yet to find. Could say that level seems to be about right so we're going to save it there and now I've got to go back and preview it and obviously split the video when you know it's relevant to the dialogue. You probably won't see me again until I'm quite far into the project because there's no point in watching me. Now we're going to drop a file, now we're going to cut it, now we're going to drop a file, now we're going to split it, now we're going to drop a file, now we're going to split it. <laughs> it's a bit boring. So I'll come back uh, very soon. This further made She's still going strong. <laughs> Where many games Four have no music in. or have rubbish music. Keen had catchy little songs you would find yourself humming It's getting slower though as time goes on. We are eating RAM. Wherever to play the game again. Every song was made in a different style to the last, and by supporting the ad lib and the sound blaster, they ensured more people would be able to hear the music. I don't admit, I do really like the way these buttons work. I kind of miss that. I used to use Video Factory more than this, which is a lot more like Vegas. I don't actually have it around now. So, yeah, but. No, this is certainly uh, a good thing. At least I'm pretty certain I used video effects. I, mean, I used to use both, and there was another program I used to use that did some visual effects, which was really terrible, so I pretty much never used it, unless I really had to. But, yeah, I mean, this is uh, this thing's running fine here uh, up to now. hasn't actually crashed again yet. It probably will, but, you know, it is slowing down. I, I doubt the memory management's that great on this thing, we probably are eating the page file and, and that ain't, that's that big either. But yeah, let's continue. And in case you're wondering, 743 is where the video ends, so we're probably more than halfway done. And I've just remembered the uh, keyboard shortcuts uh, for mark out is with control or control shift for uh, in, but I'm, I'm only really using out on this, so yeah, there's quite a few things you can do with uh, the keyboard. I, I should probably read the, uh, the cheat sheet but, I don't know, I'm in like five minutes in now, not far to go. It's not, this is going actually surprisingly smooth. Uh, let me just test this, probably there crash. things to be found, from Keen mooning the player to the villains of the fifth game getting pulled over by galactic police for double parking. You're always waiting for the next... Okay, now it's the swastika. Now the machine converting them actually wasn't working properly while this was going on, so... 
uh, yeah, we're <laughs> kind of uh, in trouble here. <laughs> uh, but uh, it should work. Uh, what I'll do is I'll just uh, use that footage there to uh, plug the gap. And luckily, I I thought ahead and I turned the volume down on the back of the PC. It's not technically cheating. Uh, this is how I used to have to do things. I mean, back before, uh, there was a time when you know, I was limited to using New Lead Video Studio, really, and uh, that didn't really offer that good a control, so I used to have to get the volume right in things before I actually recorded them. And I still have to do it a lot, like this, right now, what you're hearing, I've, I've had to set them in real time, so I'm still actually just using the volume knob on the back of the Sound Blaster Pro 2. Because to anyone who doesn't know the machine, you can find it, look up uh, completed U5S rebuild or something like that. It's changed a tiny bit since, but and I might be putting a new Ethernet adapter in soon. I've just bought a Visa Local Bus one for it. It's quite cheap, actually. Uh, yeah, we are using a Sound Blaster Pro 2 in here right now. Police for double parking. You're always waiting for the next little thing that would make you chuckle. Number four, the visuals. Well, whilst the game looked quite simple, it by no means looked ugly. One could argue that the simplicity was actually a good thing, because with the limited colour palette of only 16 colours, having more detail would probably just be confusing. Like, it would be too much. You would more than likely struggle to figure out where you could and couldn't walk. Uh, so, with, uh... Yeah, we need some nice generic footage to go in there. Like, this really doesn't matter because we're just talking about what the game looks like. So, yeah, you can see that robot there was kind of one thing I wanted here, and we, we can't use it because the, the machine converting it malfunctioned. You see how they're all the exact same length? So, yeah, we're. Uh, so, there's the parking one. That was still useful because it's just static text. Uh, yeah, I think it's about time we put in footage of Keen 1 again, because we're talking about the simplicity of uh, the visuals, and you know, they are simple by today's standards, but I mean, so it's fucking Angry Birds, and look how well that's sold. And yeah, it's a piece of shit game, but it, it is kind of fun to play in small doses. I don't have it, because I still use a Nokia 1100, and I, and I know I can emulate it before somebody says, and I have used uh, cell phone emulators before to mess around with things, but you know, Sometimes it is a simple. You don't. You need to have a complicated. And what I'm trying to say when I'm on about over it be confusing where to go. Uh, think of Donkey Kong Country for as great as it is. You never quite. I don't know. It doesn't feel as if you stood on the platform. And it has a similar pseudo 3D thing going on as Keen does uh, in the later games. Only to a more extreme. It's more. It's further developed in that, but sometimes you, you can't always tell. That game's done reasonably well, so it's not that bad, but that's just the starting point, and it's a game a lot of people have played. But there are obviously other games. I, I mean, if you watch uh, anyone who reviews games and they've reviewed bad games, they'll they'll mention things like that. So, you know, sometimes actually having simple graphics does make the game a bit easier for the player to comprehend what they're supposed to do. So it can be a good thing for gameplay. You've got to figure... Uh, things like that. I mean, when I've been designing levels for Duke Nukem 3D before, I've got to a point where it's, do I go for visuals or do I go for gameplay? Okay, Duke Nukem can walk through this table, but if I block the table, it's it's going to make the combat in this room awkward because it's a little bit cramped. Do I make the room bigger, or do I let him walk through tables and chairs here? You have to make sacrifices to make a better game sometimes, and simple graphics can look good, and Keen's a good example of this. It, it does look good. You know, it's not unpleasant to look Where at. Where you couldn't, couldn't walk, or what would damage you, causing you to lose a life. Okay, let's go for a transition here. Let's see if uh, we can make it work. Okay, I want to save. Before I do this, and then save again. There you go. I don't know what the grey box is that pops up. Apparently my computer's too fast to see it. Which uh, I'll take as a good thing. Uh, this software will apparently run on a 386 so I mean I do have a 386 I probably will try that but if you want to go ahead and do that yourself I'm not going to say where to get the software but I mean if you want to get it all this software is about on the internet it's not very hard to find and you might even be able to purchase a copy legally it's, it's a thing I'm not going to tell you to pirate it but I there's nothing wrong in me saying 
you could find it if you wanted to but you could probably find a legit copy you know if you really want to use it obviously you should do that uh, so yeah by all means test it on the 386 and let me know how horribly it runs just need to drink some water and what we're going to do here is try and add a transition so somewhere where's that little uh, sub window there I'll come back when I found it that's right it's all logical right we're going to go for some overboard just to uh, ah that looks that looks bloody overboard doesn't it now uh, let's see yeah that's right uh, put it down onto uh, video B the it's quite imprecise this system uh, and now I'd like to go for the footage of the janitor there which should oh dear let's uh, hold on a second then hang on let's do that <laughs> not entirely sure what just happened there Okay, that's pretty fascinating. Now, of course, we do have to preview it to see if it's worked, but... Man, that was a bit mental, wasn't it? Never felt like an obligate. Okay, I'm not sure I'm keen on that. Uh, we broke something. Can we undo it? Yes we can, the undo buffer works, so I'm going to uh, forget about that idea right now because, uh, well I'll be honest with you, I can't get it working, so it sucks, but yeah, so be it. it can't be okay, it might be that I have to go back to uh, to reload the file here. Yeah. Not many people. It did work. Been. In fact, there was still a large number of two eight six. It's a bit of faffing around with the audio, and I, I don't want to push my luck now. Number five. Well, but they were enjoying. Drawing to the GDA end here. Yeah. I think we just had a crash, but uh, there's not far to go. I I have saved it. Uh, I've been saving it before doing anything, basically. So, yeah, we should be good. I wasn't saving when it crashed, and. Uh, you know, we should be okay. I'll reset the machine, obviously. Uh, ah, man, I think... Uh, yeah, there we go. It's, uh, it's had a good lock up here. Pretty sure. Uh, we should... Uh, I mean, A, we're on a solid state. This B, there's no activity on it. C, you know, we weren't doing anything to the disc at the time. So, it should be fine in this instance, just to do that. We shouldn't lose anything other than what we did since last time we saved, which we'd lost anyway. But, uh, that's a pretty good run. Uh, never used to run that well back then, but I mean, obviously we had the uh, cache incorrectly configured. And you see, this, this, the problem here is for the machine, what it's doing now is actually the easy bit. Uh, and it's the interesting bit for me because I've got to sit here and use it. And I'm quite enjoying doing this. Now it's not mandatory because obviously the machine I'm recording on, the, the almighty workstation that I've replaced it with, it was, uh, you know, let's put it this way, every frame of that video is more than this bloody machine will be able to handle, but, you know, it's interesting for me. Is it? And it's fun now because I don't have to uh, do this. It's just my choice. But... Obviously this machine is, uh, it's got to render it out when we're done, and I, probably between three and five hours, I would have thought, that's going to take, uh, there is a time at the bottom of the screen there, it's not accurate, it's 8.17am, it isn't 4pm, but, uh, well, you know, doesn't really matter. Uh, let's see if we can open the project here. I didn't know I had AVIs on here. I wonder what that is. Preview video. Here we go. In. And I was trying to open a project. Hang on. There we go. Simple little feature. Very, very useful. 
Because remember, if, I'm a car, if I find out that we're exceeding some kind of limit, which it looks like we might have done, I might never be able to open that again now. Uh, so that was at around the seven minute mark. So if that's the case, we'll do five minutes, you know, and then I'll, I'll just stop, I'll render it, and then I'll do the rest of the video from that point on. Because I, I said at the start, you know, we run the risk of running out of memory, and this is the longest single edit this thing's ever done. Uh, never used to edit more than a couple of minutes on it, basically. We're alive. It's good. We can open the file again. I don't know what I did wrong last time. Like I said, it's very touchy, this sort of thing. We're on a very weak machine. We are asking a lot from it. I mean, uh, this is 480p, 25 frames per second. There must be a way to get straight to the end. Uh, let's hold control here. Maybe does it frame by frame. Maybe shift. Uh, I don't know. Maybe you can just press end. So, yeah, that works. That, that'll do it. <laughs> okay, so she's not dead. And, uh, oh, hang on. Here we go. What we'll do is we'll drop the uh, the marker there. Preview window comes back. We have only got to make it for another 40 seconds. Well, another 43 seconds. No, another 40, not even 40 seconds. Another 38 seconds. Well, that's pretty good. Uh, what I'm going to do then, uh, because I only need 38 seconds, is I'm going to cop out, because it's becoming unstable here, and I'm going to drop in... Uh, I'll try and find something that's that long to put the... it's 33, it's not quite long enough is it there? Uh, 57, I've used that a lot though. Uh, you can see the WAV file, 6 minutes 11 seconds, It'd be nice if it was 6 minutes 10 seconds. I don't know if anybody noticed the LGR power button video I parodied was 6 minutes 10 seconds long. I thought that was funny, it was like, well that's just asking for it now isn't it? And that, the thing I, I do want to say while I'm here now, I've mentioned that, LGR can actually make really good videos, uh, and it has done, uh, which is what I figured that really needed a parody doing. But yeah, we'll, uh, fine, uh, that's the only one i got long enough, and I, I don't want to push this machine any, any more than I really need to right now, it's, uh, you know, it is starting to run really rough at this, I, I do think if we do anything else, to it, we are going to uh, probably end up with a file that isn't readable. And oh no, it doesn't use the audio, does it? To uh, it's fine, but scrolling slow, as you can see, takes a while. We could drag it, but I don't know where it is. That's that's just fumbling in the dark because it doesn't update until like certain intervals. It's. I wonder why that blue bit's there. What that's it? Oh, halfway point, of course. Duh! Man, am I stupid or something? Don't answer that. Actually, by all means, do answer that. I don't really mind. So there we go. We, we should be done. Uh, that should be it. Uh, let me see. What, what I want to do is uh, I want to drop it here because I don't know where we currently are. I'll go back and let's check it out. I don't have it? to take my word for it anyway, because there are still games to this day being made which have striking similarities to Commander Keen, and that probably says something in my opinion. So there you go, those are just a few of many reasons Keen was great. <coughs> this video is pointless, but it was created for a reason, and if you haven't found out why yet, even if you like old computers, a bit like the one I played Keen on today, you should probably go and do so, because I don't know, dude. The reasoning for this existing, well, it could be quite interesting too. I can't make guarantees though. Otherwise, I'm my treason. Thanks for watching, and I'll. Oh dear, that cut off a bit early, didn't it? I'm not sure we can. It might not have done. It might be uh, lag. And I'll see you later. Yeah, it it runs fine. I mean, that means we'll probably do have synchronicity issues, but I think that's a good good going by the machine there. Uh, I'd like to display my logo again, because I, I do like the uh, crushed up colours, I really do. Uh, 
It, 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 it looks kind of awesome like that. Uh, the ghosting, obviously, I don't think is going to happen in the end product. Uh, that weird blue and red that we're getting. You know, it's just... Uh, it's something in uh, the way this machine behaves. I, I don't really understand it, and I'm not about to pretend to. So yeah, it's it's really lagging now. But uh, let me see. What do you do? Make movie. Uh, we're gonna have to put it on drive C. Uh, output options are. We're gonna turn it because the the source is only 11 kilohertz. Uh, we are in that format. Interleave. Ooh, let's make that a bit. That'll do. It's good enough. Uh, we can do other formats. Uh, you know, you can even render it as image sequences, which is very, very useful. I, I think uh, we could do that with some 3D to uh, give like a nice, you know, 90s uh, still images kind of thing. You know, pre-rendered look to things. Uh, it would look pretty good stuffing them through this. But yeah, that that should be good. Uh, type well. I'm going to go full size frame. I, I'm seriously, I'm going to hammer this thing. Output entire project, so it doesn't worry about the loop area, and compression. We're going to leave it at 80%. Uh, we could go 100%, but I, I don't really, I don't want it to take days, basically. And uh, keyframe every 15 frames. We'll, uh, we'll leave that alone. It's, uh, it's fine as it is, it's 25 frames per second. The data rate can just be whatever it is. Microsoft Video One's what we've been using. And we're gonna save this as, uh, what should we call it here? I'd quite like to make a new directory, but it, I don't seem to have that option. Uh, and I'd love to render it straight out to the workstation, but I, I can't, so we've gotta keep it on here, that's fine. So we're gonna render it as keengood.avi. And hit okay, and it's probably gonna crash. We are calculating a palette first. It's it's only got so many colours it can use. I believe. Oh, 34. No, nah, it's going to take longer than that. I guarantee it's going to take longer than that. Unless something's, something's gone wrong here. I, I don't know. It could have done. And it's a long time to wait to find out. And this is the thing. But it's it's certainly thinking about it. We're doing something, and that's a good thing. So I don't know. There's not really anything to say while it's rendering. We're just watching a, a thing go by. And uh, yeah, I mean there we go. Uh, that's the project done. We don't have to do any more editing. I might have to play with the loop regions or something later, I suppose. But yeah, for now, there's uh, no wrong with it. And I do know for a fact because I have tested it that uh, we are rendering more than the, the first few seconds here. That that would take about five minutes to render the first... Uh, what was it? Like, it's about a minute and a half per second? Like this, with uh, video that it's not really having to adjust. So, I mean, this is... This has got to mix that audio in when it gets going. So, I don't know, but yeah, we're certainly rendering more than just a few seconds. Well, maybe I've changed some settings. I, I think I was doing that one at 100%, so that might be a factor as well. well maybe we'll try doing that later on when I've moved this file off. Uh, we, we could try it, I suppose. So, yeah, I don't have anything to say. I'm going to go away, uh, watch Crystal Maze or something, or find somebody to annoy. And... Uh, yeah, I'll come back when this is done. Uh, I'll leave my speakers on, the machine will make a loud noise. You might notice I press beep when done. It, it plays the error sound from uh, Windows Chicago. And uh, that will alert me, because that, that's the one from Windows 95 and 3.1. It's very loud. I, I did like that error sound. It always makes me think of policemen. Because when it used to say illegal operation, a lot of people around here, I don't know if it was only a local thing, used to think the police were coming after them. And I never bothered to correct these people, uh, so, yeah, maybe that was a bit cruel of me, but fuck them, they shouldn't have been stupid, should they? Uh, yeah, uh, as you can see, it's 4.35pm according to that inaccurate clock, so, yeah, the, the timer isn't accurate, so, I mean, this could take any amount of time. Uh, about an hour bit of looks of things, though, I would have thought, uh, so, yeah, maybe an hour and a half. I'm quite impressed that it's going to do it in that time, and we're actually going to get the whole video out of it. So, I don't know, we'll come back when it's done.
Okay, the render's done. It took about an hour, so that was actually a lot faster than I thought it would be. Now we need to copy it off of there, which you're not going to be able to see, so... And I'll check it out, and then I'll, I'll report back as to whether it works. Uh, obviously you'll know if you've seen it and it's actually working. And it was on... Drive C, wasn't it? So there we go. It is now copying. If you listen closely, you might just be able to hear the, the machine scratching. No, well, that's right. We, you can't copy files that big from uh, a machine like this on Windows 7 for some reason. I, I don't understand why, so don't ask me. It's a clear little limitation of the operating system. So I have to put it in an archive, you know, put it into a, a zip file on the local machine. It's quite a slow process. Like now I'm just waiting for the uh, the open dialog to appear. It's quite annoying. Uh, I really don't like Windows 7. It, it is more trouble than anything else. Like now I've just tried to select the desktop and it chucks me out onto uh, the network. It keeps doing it. I don't want to go on the network. I want to dump it on my desktop. No, stop dumping me on the network. Fine, can we go in there, please? And here's the thing, it's probably going to take like an hour to copy the thing back over, because it's 1300 meg, well, nearly 1400 meg. And we can only copy at about 300 kilobytes per second. <laughs> yeah, I remember saying I'd report back on it, and, uh, yeah, clearly... You know, you've probably seen the video is on YouTube, so yeah, it came out fine first time, no problem. Uh, I would have liked to crank it 200%, but I was right in what I thought, in that it really wouldn't have fit on the hard drive. That file is, there's only a few megabytes left. I, I'm quite pleased with myself for figuring that out. Uh, so, yeah, yeah, I think it was just luck more than anything, I'll, I'll be honest. Uh, that, that, was, that was pure luck. But there we go. Uh, I have rendered a small video at 100%. It's unlisted. And it, it was before all this I did a test. I, you probably heard me mention it, that I'd done a test. That is on YouTube. You can find a link in the description. It's just five seconds long of the camera panning across the internals of uh, my 386. But uh, yeah, you can see what 100% quality would look like. There's no audio or anything. It's boring. But if you're curious about it. Otherwise, yeah, I think this was a, a fun little thing to do probably never do it again uh, unless I have to I suppose if I end up with no workstation and <laughs> I can use that I've done it before anyway I'm high treason thanks for watching and I'll see you again in the future